transition, what you can do to successfully switch from analog to digital broadcasting, and a host of other information. Um, we mailed DTV toolkits to 440 tribal leaders and have provided these toolkits again to about 1,100 Mills on Wheels state chapter heads as well as state aging organizations. <laughs> In conclusion, in February 07, NAB helped found the DTV Transition Coalition, which these are our transition partners, some of them anyway, which is comprised of business, trade, and industry groups, as well as grassroots and membership organizations that share an interest in the smooth transition. The group initially consisted of eight founding members, and since then it's grown to 241 members which is tremendous, including the Congressional Black Caucus, the Congressional Hispanic Caucus, Rainbow Push AARP, the American Association of People with Disabilities, and the National Council on Aging, to name a few. The core mission of the coalition is to ensure no consumer is left behind because of a lack of information about the transition. Also very important to note, the NAB has also produced a lot of its educational materials in languages such as Amharic, Russian, um, French, Creole, Vietnamese, Hmong, and there's a host of other languages as well. I think it's probably about 80 different languages. So to close, I just want to make the point that the National Association of Broadcasters we're very committed to ensuring that all viewers are educated about a smooth and successful transition and the options that are available to them. This is the number one priority of our board, particularly our television board. So we want to make sure that everyone has the tools that they need to successfully transition. Thank you. Um, thank you, Myra. And I think there's supposed to be another soft analog on the, is it the 17th coming up? Yes. yes. December 17th. So, uh, and we can, we can probably discuss it more when we go through the, the Q&A section so people will be aware of what that's going to be. Um, Sherry Dawson from the uh, Federal Communications uh, Commission is next up. Good morning, everyone. Um, I will, don't want to waste a lot of time. Basically, the FCC is part of the coalition team, and along with the other ones, we have the partnerships with the various organizations to try to get the consumer information out to as many people as possible. Um, in doing, well, being the, in the outreach division, I do the consumer outreach workshops here. I've done some at Israel Baptist and Shiloh, and various places in Annapolis, and it's very interesting the information that you get when you're face-to-face -face doing these workshops. Um, the money issue is always a problem. Um, some of the seniors will tell you they have a choice of whether they want to buy medicine or, or watch television. Um, part of even instructing them about the transition itself, um, we serve as to give them the information that they need. You know, Some of them are spending money on a cable bill. Um, where because of the fact that the, trans the digital transition is going to offer more um, programs for them, you know, we're even asking them as a consumer, do you really need that cable bill every month? Um, yes, the, the box itself may be somewhat expensive for you right now, and we are offering the, the coupon program is offered as a, um, a help of that. But in the end, you know, is it more? Will, will twenty dollars right now be better for you to pay versus a? $40 bill every month. Those are things that we have to give them. We, we ask them questions. We try to bring that information to them. Uh, they don't know why we're doing the digital transition. They don't know what the, what the benefit is. We've been, we told them that their picture's going to be better and the sound's going to be better, but they don't know anything about the fact that the special will be reallocated to public safety issues. They don't recognize why we're doing it. So we we break it down to, this, to, to the minutest piece that we can to make sure that they understand that it will be a benefit to all. 
we tell them about scams because believe it or not there's scams with this too mm -hmm. there are people that are going around asking if they want their stuff installed do you i'll install your converter box for you and they'll charge them for that when it's really as what those you see is a cord and two cords and a plug you know you don't want to charge why would you charge anybody for that but people are doing that people are taking their coupons and saying well versus you going to the store 